What if it's so right. true? What if My it's grandmother, right? bless her heart, whenever I came home, she had her house, house coat, coat on. on. Right, but they had 10 she kids. Had, she had the house coat right. on. That means you was ready. <laughs> that means you was ready. <laughs> Eight Eleven crew checking in with you. It's your boy Jay Turner <laughs> and Ulysses Slugger Glenn. And guess what, y'all? I call them Sluggerific. You know that, but <laughs> what you may not know is how good this conversation is about to be that oh, we about good. to have right now. The off the off camera conversation was great. The off camera so, conversation oh, was great. And fantastic. Man, right, I wish y'all could have been here, but right. instead we got three whole new topics that we about to come hey. up with right now. <laughs> and we're not gonna say what it is, but somebody in this room is gonna be the star, star of, of the, the show. show. Right. But anyway. <laughs> We talk. What are we here to talk about now? Is I wish somebody, somebody had, had told, told me. me. I wish I'd known. I wish I'd known. known. Right. What are some things we're we're talking about? Younger men in our. We're of course mature. We're in our. I'm, a, 50s. I'm, a old, I'm an old millennial. Eight eleven. You know, eight eleven. August eleventh is our birthday. That's why right. it's called the eight eleven crew. And we do we do take cash app, Zelle. Those things. Oh, well, okay. Do we, uh, you know, you <laughs> for a birthday. Up, there we go. Just saying. That's what he said. I, just prayers is all I would ask for. That too. I, I need that too. I but, need prayers and trips. But we also need advice. <laughs> we are like for our younger men, for younger men, careers, dating, children, etc. What is it that we know now that we didn't know then? And what are the things that make perfect sense now that we were just like clueless on back in the day? And I'm going to tell you what. I really am hoping for some clarity here because I have a 22-year-old and I'm trying to figure out what can I tell him that the mug will actually listen to he at this age. He should do he should live his life mm. have he should definitely live his life mm -hmm. because one thing you can't get back is time. Yeah. So uh, and that's one thing I do notice about the younger generation they're so ready to be adults mm. and not saying we weren't but <clears throat> he's 22 you should be partying you should be out i should see him on instagram like different things like going out enjoying himself because once you're old you're always old and mm. so i mean imagine how you and i would look right now at some event like that we look you know you know some chicks on our you know, shoulders with you know i would like that but you know have it you know with a bathing suit on but <laughs> you know <laughs> that could be part of my trip to greece for my birthday but we would look kind of odd at something like that but if we saw your son there we're like yeah i'm trying to be his yeah, uncle right, there right. i'm calling like hey do you need me to come there to help you right but that's you what you should reinforcement, <laughs> reinforcement you, you know <laughs> so but that's one thing I would say. You know, when you're old, you're old. Mm -hmm. When you're in your 20s, even your early 30s, you should have the fun that you can afford, that's safe, you know, you know, and work on your career and things. But, you know, you can't be 50 years old at Freaknik. Right. That would look right. completely right. crazy. <laughs> like, let me use my vacation days for Freaknik. No. <laughs> that's assuming that people looking at this know what Freaknik, Freaknik is. is. Right. You need to be Generation X somewhat. I've heard from my parents. Is. I was a millennial. I wasn't there. Whatever video you see, that wasn't me. That was my dad. So. <laughs> but you have those things. But I also, when I was thinking about this, I started thinking more, I guess, of more practical things that might be obvious to me now that weren't as obvious or something that I didn't think about then. Like, you know, is one thing that I think about now is how dope a career in the military, the police, or the fire department, you know, is. And I think that's because you can put in 20 years in those organizations and have a pension, retirement, you know, et cetera. And these days, there is no, like, there's no... Real, what what other jobs can you do these days where you could do that for 20 years? You could start in the police department, theoretically, at 18. Mm -hmm. And by 38, before you're 40, you could retire, have salary and benefits for the rest of your life at 38. You, you're still sure. young. I mean, we're 20 would, years in the military, you know, et cetera. What do you think about that? I would do military. I, you know, police fire. I'd have to think about that for a minute. But definitely I wish in college I would have done ROTC. Yes. Or because I think definitely because I was doing the college round, so I would have definitely have done ROTC. Yep. And I would yep. encourage other young men to do that. Yeah. And even though, even though nowadays it seems like going the military route or ROTC 
it's, seems it's, it's, really it's, completely well, against the grain now to well, where no, it's just, it's I'm actually, free to do Well, you I see a lot of people going to the Naval Academy and things like that. I think in our circle of friends. Well, it's not a lot of people, but, you know. We know, we, 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 we we know, know some, some people, people whose kids, kids are yeah, they were great. Yes. You know, three different. Yeah, I know some, even more. Three different kids right off the bat going to the Naval Academy. You're like, all these kids had to have a senator or a congressional letter. yeah, yeah. So, you know, I definitely would have done an ROTC in college because, I, you know, you see the benefits. You know, you give up to one weekend, I think one weekend a month, and then I think one, I think in the summertime you go on for a month, but you're paid. You yeah, get, yeah. you know, once you get out, you have all the military benefits. Yeah. You're like, I should have done this. But, you know, and you, you save you, a lot of money on clothes. When I, I did JROTC when I was in high school, and then my son did JROTC How behind you save me as well. Money on clothes? Because you wear a uniform every day. Oh, ROTC, you don't wear a uniform every day. I'm saying in the ROTC, maybe not a uniform every day. You wear it when you're going to, I think like that Friday or something. You don't wear it every day. You don't wear it every day? No, I had chapter brothers that were there, like John Munson, and Mike Patton, I can tell you. They, they only, didn't wear a uniform every day? No, every day. Well, in high bridge. school, you wear a uniform yeah, every day, right? right? It doesn't do that in college? No. Did, oh, you, did you see people walking around UVA every day with military stuff you know on? What? I hate when Ulysses asks me questions <laughs> like that. Did no, you I'm see? just trying to, like, you know, get like, my point across. I'm trying to. I'm, you know, I'm a patriot here. I'm trying to get, in, but no, okay, that's fine. All right, that, like, that's what? cool. You don't have to wear your military uniform every no, day. No, that's no, fine. no, no. I can definitely tell because I can remember them being in step shows and they didn't have it on then. Wow. Right. Okay. So. <laughs> well, then forget I said that. But I do feel like the military is a great career. You're, the learning, the the fraternity that you have, the connections, oh, yeah, yeah, the, connection. yeah, the yeah, network. Yeah. I think one of the. I think what it goes to for me is what I know. Now that I knew then, but even I know even so much more is important now is your network. It's yeah. about your network. Who do you know? Who are your friends? Who can you call to help? Who can position you and help you get to where you're going? And so when I think of things like the military, police, fire, I think mm -hmm. of these strong networks where oh, yeah, yeah, folks yeah, definitely, definitely, have definitely. these relationships and then they're there for the rest of their lives, kind of like our fraternity. Uh, yeah. But I don't think, I, but I, I I can't see myself as a police officer or a fireman. I'm like, I mean, I think they, I mean, they do a lot to risk their lives every day. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna tell you, I might be like, mm, I don't think I like them that much. So you know what? I can <laughs> see you as a police or you know, fireman. Either, I'm like, so. no, especially if I have inner anger. I no, uh -uh. as a police officer, I'm like, nope, they're gone. I'm like no, police brutality. No. So <laughs> you want them Ohio cops? Too. Especially right now, I know somebody who definitely would be gone. Police brutality, oh, definitely. My goodness. Well, then that that's not that's not right. Easy. So let me stick with ROTC. But let me. Ask, but another question too is, what about like marriage these days? You know, a lot of things have changed in terms of when I think like when our parents were younger, the baby boomers, and, and even earlier. I think the average age of getting married was probably like twenty five or something. My yeah, parents. Got were 20 my parents were 25 when they had me so that means they got married like 23 24 how old were your parents my parents i think my mom was 20 or 21 yeah see like, was yeah. way they younger. were young my dad was like 23 or 21, way younger or way like younger so i feel like this day and age i'm just going to tell you straight up i don't think i would want my son to get married until he's 34. And I yeah. got to say the same thing for my for my daughter too, because well, these days, days ladies well, are having kids much later uh, into the thing. Thirty four is plenty. Of, are, you still in plenty good birthing no, situation be, be, at thirty four. Be Just because the world has changed, God has not changed. Oh, God, I would not. not uh -oh, I would uh -oh, not uh -oh. recommend women. I mean, and they do. We gonna bring. We gonna. We gonna. I would Yeah, I think thirty. I mean, you can Women do have children uh, after uh, uh, after thirty four, but you know, there's a lot of risk to it. So I do think men should be a little older because there's the maturity level, so on and so forth. I don't think so, there's a risk. We have to take on. Oh, I don't believe there's a risk. Thirty four is not the, the, the. I don't think we're moving towards high risk pregnancy. Thirty five is where you're high risk. Yeah, now we need to have now. Positive. See, where Google we it. this is where we need car. Google we need somebody it. on here. Whatever. Mo, somebody Google is thirty five is high risk. Thirty five is thirty five is high That's risk. That's thirty four. But you got okay, you get married thirty four, you gotta have some time to go out. You gotta kick it somewhere. Okay. Like you know, you gotta go out for dinner, you gotta get All drunk right, let's together. Say, what about thirty two? Is thirty two if we take a thousand okay. days off that? All right, they take a thousand right, days off the eggs. They good. I, mean, I, but I just think that men should be thirty-four. I mean, there's a lot. I think there's a lot. You know, I, I, so you feel like men thirty-four? Over 35. over thirty-five okay, is high no, risk. Oh, you think over thirty-five? No, he said high risk. No, 
high okay. risk. High risk is 35. It's 35. I'm you, okay. I'm, well, Ulysses, I never say, I I'm always OB, say what I'm you talk OB, about, I'm literally you're normally OBG, right about. I'm, a, I'm an OBGYN. Except what he's not right about. Oh, you an OBGYN, huh? We're going to leave that alone. I never delivered a baby, but. You made one. Or True, yeah. You know, I'll take a look. <laughs> I'll take a look. <laughs> if you need me. Let me see. What are you going to with? <laughs> All right. You see, uh, no, don't move us on past that. <laughs> look, the producer's like, move on. Who put the new person in the chair? Okay, that, that, we don't move on from the controversial stuff. We got a new producer. We're not going to put her on camera, though. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, no, that's sex talk. Like move on. No. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. So we got to get back on the subject. Um, so uh, things I would definitely, I would suggest people, men getting married older, in their 30s. I think, you know, men should marry a, a woman a little younger. I think there's a lot to, I think, with the maturity of men. And, you know, you men are still... You know, at that age, you're still kind of finding yourself. You just got a great job. We can pay all your bills. Mm -hmm. You you know, you're you're finally kind of settled. So mm -hmm. now you should, if you're going to get married at that age, at 27, 28, you're still trying to get to work. Well, one of the things, you're absolutely right. For me, one of the things that I was thinking about, too, along that line was that, you know, if I were to do it all over again, and I'd please, I don't want to get no hate mail for saying this, but... I would be more diverse in my dating choices. Like, uh, like ninety nine percent of the women I've dated have been black women. It's like, that's really? probably kind of a low percent. Me like, too. I generally date black women, um, and and I really nowadays one of the things I like about this younger generation is they're much more humanistic. Oh, you know, yeah, they're yeah. much more open to I think you know, just where people country, are from, and I really yeah. I really like that. You know, what I mean, like I probably always would have ended up with a black woman. But, you know, but definitely I am much more aware that there that love is love and that you yeah. can find understanding and love no matter who, what, where. I, think, yeah, I, yeah, I, I mean, I've, I've dated out of my race a few times. Well, you're from Twinsburg, <laughs> Ohio. I mean, being from the formerly the Chocolate City, it was a lot. Of, it would have been a lot harder for me to have such, you know, diverse. No, you, At the go go, it was not that diverse. You could have lived in, Col in Colombia. You could have been. Yeah, but fine. I did not. Colombia was, was founded on. Oh, Colombia was founded. Founded on, on mixed yeah, yeah. diversity. Mix, yeah, mixed marriage. Yeah. From the service, it was. Yeah. Um, yeah. For, yeah. For, and for that military was their actually personnel. intent about it, but yeah. you know, but I definitely, and I will say one more thing, and I, tell me what you thought about this when I was thinking of things, and I definitely said this to my kids, Rosetta Stone. I would want to learn a language. second language early. Like being monolingual is one of the things I definitely dislike most about myself. And I still can fix that. Like if I had paid attention more in Spanish. Mrs. Mm -hmm. Worth, she was my Spanish teacher. I wish I had paid more attention. Hablo Espanol, mm, poquito. Oh, okay. I don't know what you just <laughs> said there. But clearly, that was the first day of class. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened there. I speak Spanish. Yo, Spanish. Right. we're going to take a break, break. y'all. We're going to take a break and think about some more things that we could tell the young folks Kids. and hope that they would actually listen to us. We'll be back. We'll be back. 811 Crew, we are back. We're back. We're going to continue this conversation talking about what would you do differently now? What could we do differently, Slugger? We left um, off talking about everything from jobs to how, to get, what time you should get married, you know, et cetera. What's something else you be, that we're I, I, would, I would probably take more pictures. Take I would more take more pictures. pictures and videos because you never but realize. you now, but I mean, in this day and age, I feel like these, I mean, kids, but, these kids is always I'm talking about, bathroom selfie. Yeah, I mean, but I'm talking about, I'm talking about well, well let me explain. Day. I would take more memorable pictures. I wouldn't take pictures for World Star. I would take more pictures, you know, make sure I have pictures with my parents, my kids, my mm -hmm. grandparents, because mm -hmm. you realize they're not going to be here forever. Wow. So your grandparents, you know, you want to look back like, wow, I should have taken that picture when I went home. I should have. So you think about those things. That's right. So pictures and even videos, like recording your grandparents, mm -hmm. you know, because you don't, you know, to hear their oh, voice. Yeah. So or just ask them questions I you want to hear. Yeah. I that's a great idea. Really, I, I really want that, that. That is such a great point, Ulysses. I really. Do that. Your grandparents, your parents, the folks that are around you that are ahead, that are down the road, take the time with all this high-level video phone equipment you have and record their story. Have a conversation. Think Find of ten out, yeah. questions that you would want to ask them. Make five of them controversial. Don't assume <laughs> that your grandparents just want to talk, talk about, about the swing they <laughs> sat out on. 
You know, I mean, find out like, hey, who was there first? What they did on the swing? They who was there first? Or they might have another swing. Exactly. Right. That's so how you got here. They might have a swing. <laughs> right. They might have a swing they had out back, and now the swing they got online when when the internet came. Right. Because in. back then, because grandma didn't wear grandma didn't she wore a house coat. They had ten kids. Uh oh. Remember, see grandma with a house coat, and they had ten kids. What? 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 Ready. <laughs> that means you was ready. All the time. They had only my my grandparents only had one child though, so maybe, oh, I don't man. know. But what does that mean? But you know what? But I will say that. But on the parents' tip, one of the notes I had was that I would want and and if my kids are listening into this, is to listen to your parents because they're right yeah. about everything. Yeah. I know it seems hard to believe that now. But they do, if you, you know, maybe not everything, but a lot of that things that you think they ain't right about there, you're going to find out they were kind of right. Definitely, you should definitely listen to what they have to say because they're not, you know, especially if you, have a, you have a, if you have a good relationship with your parents, they're not telling you anything that's against, you know, that's negative. They want you, they don't want to see you hurt. Right. And so you listen to so, point, that's only if, I'm not saying that if you know that you're, a family member or whatever has negative vibes, yeah, hate or race and to, negativity, don't, don't listen, listen to Don't listen to them. But people one, that you know love you and truly want the best for you, and maybe the things that you just don't want to hear, you should probably listen. You should to. probably listen to. Yeah. Um, the other thing I would do is you don't have to you don't have to finish college in four years. I don't like at eighteen. From I mean, you have to be done at twenty two. You're like, okay, now I'm an adult. I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm just been able to drink legally for a year. That's, That's all it means. Point. That's a great point. I'm like, so I would tell people to take their time. You know. You know, learn, you know, you know, you were in school four years, I was in school five years. You were like rushed through. There's things I wish I could have done, learned in school, other things I would have done. So you just didn't have the time, you know. So I, I think that should be something. You know, you're making a decision at 18 with my career is going to be the rest of my life. Wow. I have no idea. Take your time. Yeah. It's stuff does not have to happen that quickly. No, so, oh, but yo, we, one thing we do have, we have poll questions that talk about stuff, that, that talk about these things. <laughs> Knowing what you know now, would you go back in time and make different choices? That is the question. 57% say yes, 43% say no. Only 57% said they right. make some changes? Right. Mugs are happy. That's good. Uh, yeah. That's good. Yeah, people, yeah, I think for the most part, Probably, you know, but, yeah, I probably would say I do it because I have my kid. Yeah. 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 And you I know. just feel like there's always so many things. But that's great. If people, I feel like we're big, happy. Yeah. I mean, I I would not change major, major yeah. things. I mean, I, I feel like, but there are definitely, you know, things that I feel like, you know, adjustments that I would make. Like, for instance, one of the things that I'm very happy about that during COVID, I started working out, you know, my health. Um, became a major thing right. for me. I'm blessed that there, I didn't have some major health challenge that made me be like, oh, yeah. oh, oh, I, I ain't got diabetes. I can't know. I, I, you know, COVID, you know, we started biking, walking, and got into that. But now I really do, for 20 years, now I, a lot of folks know in D.C., I live right across the street from Rock Creek Park. Mm -hmm. Rock Creek Park. Oh, yeah. Doing it in right. the park. I woke up, I've <laughs> lived across the street from Rock Creek Park for 23 years. And for oh, yeah, 19 right. of those 23 years, I woke up in the morning, looked out the window, scratched myself, and said, one day, That's way too I'm going to get over in that park. Way too much information. <laughs> I looked over that park. I would see people biking and walking and running over there. My grandmother I, lived over there right, on Van like, Buren. Go right on oh, Van Buren. I'd be like, I'm going to go down there. He used to live on Van, Van Buren. Buren. Oh, for real? Yep. Okay, like 604 she, Van Buren. She was 16, so hers was 1504. Oh, okay. right, she's right, only a few blocks up. Yeah. Right, right. Okay, yeah, I was at 604. Okay, so yeah, I used right. to ride my bike Snake Hill. Right, right yeah, on the earth, man. Yeah. I rode up Snake Hill just the other day. Oh. Mo got me I rode up Snake Hill on <laughs> Saturday. Trick or treating and everything. Yeah. Oh, oh, cool. Of course. Oh, I had good kids. They used to give out money around yeah. there. Oh, that's right. right. <laughs> she said you was uptown, oh, baby. Yeah. Uptown, <laughs> uptown for the trick or treating. But I mean, but seriously, though, I really feel like we got to be focused on health. Southeast, South. Southeast. Southeast. Right. No T yet. No T H's South. and no T. South Southeast. With my peeps. But really though, we gotta focus more on health. I really feel like we, we need do. to focus more on our health. One thing I'm that my dad was a great your father too, yeah. you know, was a great example of this. My dad was always on the move. When I 
when he was he was a jogger. He had runner's world. He had New Balance and Nike. He was running. Then he had both of his knees scoped. That made me say, you know what? I'm not gonna run because I've seen what happens to your knees. I'm not gonna do all that. But my dad kept it moving. He's yeah. all he's 79 and he's still active and moving. So I'm very glad that while I didn't do it in my young age, when I turned 50, you know, it's not too late at 50 to decide that you're gonna do some different things. That's Meanwhile, crazy. I try to get my son to walk and my daughter to walk with me. It's a real struggle. Did I go walk? They hey, they walk. I had to bribe them with like we. I, I, you know, I was <laughs> like almost had to be like I'm a cash app y'all if you walk with me. Like, uh, Still, that would be like no sometimes. Bro, I started working out uh, right after college. I remember some actually the advice my grandfather had given me, and he was like, "Don't wait until you're 50 to start working out and eating right." So I kind of, you know, I was like 20, it, just, it was a couple years after college, I think I was like 24, so I started going to the gym with my uncle, so I, you know, I got back into playing racquetball, stuff like that, so I just kept it, even when I was married, so you know, gym was a good place, you know, you can meet chicks at the gym, all that stuff, so I went to the gym, all that, so I never, and then as I got older, you know, we ride now, but I used, you know, I do hot yoga, stuff like that, so... That's you know, I eat. I, I I think I started eating. You know, my eating is pretty good. Um, I do smoothies every morning. I mean, but granted, you always been like a buck sixty five <clears throat> plus no, no, or minus no. ten cents your for whole minute, life, no, probably. No, no. I, was, I, I, I was don't know. You for a minute. You I was, you, 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 I was you, a little heavier for a minute. I'll okay. show you some pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. Uh, yeah, yeah. So right, that's true. What about granted, you, bro? and that is true because I do have like three of your belts, right. two sweatshirts, <laughs> right. and some other bigger, stuff of your stuff that I was bigger opportunistically. Right. Yeah. Oh, wait, Mo, what about you? I probably would have not go to like school that I did go to. Really? I probably would have took a year off because, yeah. like y'all said earlier, because it felt like it was like forced in me, like yeah. you have to go to college. Yeah, you have to go. You got to be yeah. done four years. And yeah. like the first two years, I'm like, why am I here? Then I just yeah. get, graduated, got it through just to make my parents happy. Right, but right. I really wasn't happy because right. I'm still realizing, like, I don't even know what, what I want to do. Right, right. Me either. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so I think I would have took like another approach. Me either. There, so I'm just here. I'm like, okay, I'm getting a check right now. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. Right, but not. Where'd you, where'd you go to college again? I went to Lincoln University. I went to Lincoln. Lincoln. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Lincoln's dope. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's but the first. Uh, first HBCU. HBCU. Yeah. 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 That's the the bloody, bloody triangle for the yeah. cat. Yeah. Right. That's serious. I'm going to tell you one other thing, too, that I, that, you know, um, that that has been very important to me in my later life that I I don't necessarily wish that I had done it earlier because I'm not sure I would have had the right perspective, but my faith, uh, my faith in God is something that I don't know what would have changed, um, but, uh, you know, I grew up going to church as a mm -hmm. young kid, singing in the choir. I was in the church plays, et cetera, but I don't remember having like a personal relationship with God, like where I you grew could, up. You grew up Catholic? No, I grew up AME. Oh, okay. I grew up at grew up African Methodist okay. Episcopal Church, um, you know, and then Baptist, et cetera. But then later on in life, you know, in 2017, um, I converted to Catholicism and right. really began a more a more deliberate relationship okay. with God, and that has changed a lot of my perspective. I'm not sure, and I talk to my kids about this, about mm -hmm. really asking them to really be intentional about developing their relationship with God. But at the same time, I feel like, you know, sometimes that is life. Like, I think life has forced me to my knees in many cases um, mm -hmm. and to recognize and be like, Lord, have mercy. I hope there is a higher power because I need help handling this. Hey, you oh, know, and I, I don't know, you know when that me. is. People come to God at different times. Some people come when they like two of them, they like 13. They never had another, you know, thing. But me, I'm happy I finally found it. Yeah, it doesn't matter when you find it, as long as you find it. Absolutely. Well, we surprisingly have come almost to the and, end of hey, the we gotta show. Hey, go right we got to go to break. We got to go to our last break, pay the bills. But when we get back, we're going to wrap it up. We're going to uh, maybe pull. some last things about things that folks might be able to change, do differently. And we're going to give you some insights and talk about what we're going to be talking about next week. Next week. Which we're going to wax off. We're going to wax, wax off the personal wax on. and wax on some political. So, uh, <laughs> 11 Crew, we'll be back. We'll be back. 11 Crew, we are back we're wrapping back. up this segment, talking about I wish somebody had told me some things. I feel like I ended my last comment talking about the Lord. 
And that, <laughs> and, 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 but what? but is there some other things that you want to talk? I'm I'm going in my commentary around God. What you got? <laughs> well, what do you say after that? Yeah. I do, you know what? I do think that's one thing that I would have wanted to become more spiritual or earlier, mm-hmm. um, which I which which I am. But I think I would have wanted to have been younger, maybe probably in my twenties, just to have a better. You know, understanding have be more grounded versus waiting till you get older to do it. Mm-hmm. But you know, some things happen when they're supposed to happen. Yeah, you know, when they happen, and I never say I lost the Lord. I just wasn't going to you know, even now. I don't go to church every Sunday, but I think you have a as you get older, you your understanding or how what you gravitate to things versus you know when you're younger you feel like you're invincible yes, you're like i'm invincible no it. you know i'm not gonna die i can do whatever right. i can bungee jump right things like that you think not, about i think about it it's just the law like there's the rules of what you're supposed to, to do, do etc versus more a less, personal yeah. relationship yeah you're, you're per, you know, i have you know i have a personal relationship you feel that you can and this is even prior to my son passing away so I don't want people to say, oh, he just got it because of that. It's like, no, I, I definitely before then. And it, it it just, you know, I always say you have to believe in something. If you don't believe for, yeah. believe in something, you'll fall for anything. Well said. So that's one of the things. Rather, you know, rather you believe in God, Jehovah, whoever it might be, just right. believe in something. Have right. somebody to you know, believe in. Higher power. Higher power. We're going to make a transition and talk about what we're going to be talking about oh, yeah, in yeah, our yeah. next show, which... Yeah, yeah. Is all waxing into the notion of political politics. conversation. We're about to get into politics because right, we're in right, Washington right, D.C. Right, right, we right. got to come. We've talked about oh, some politics yeah, yeah. before, but come back. But our next poll question coming up around this discussion is: Do you have close friends that belong to a different political party? And if yes, do you talk about politics? And this is so important I because do. the world is so split up these days. It's like politics. It's either. It's, it's like you're either good or bad. It feels like there's no middle ground. How can we talk about politics, or can you even be friends with someone who oh, has definitely. a totally different I, political I have, perspective? I have, I have several friends from high school that I talk to. They actually want to just check, you know, check on me, make sure I'm good. I've known them since... Now, this is some of these twins, Bergian, yes. white, oh, Republican, yes. Ohioans? Yes. Can we get yes. them on a Zoom call? I wanna, oh, definitely. I want to see some of these I, people. You know, I, I, I want to see old Bert, Britt, or... I don't <laughs> I'm not going to say what their names. What are their names? What what, what's just a one first name of a uh, white Ohio Republican somebody? Just one first name. But, uh, Bobby, Keith. Bobby, Keith. Okay, that's... I mean, they're good, that's and they're good friends of mine. Okay. Yeah, and I, but you know what? There's nobody named, there's nobody named Jalil or anybody like oh, that. Oh, no, right? no, no, no. But, okay, you know, okay. and the thing is, I think what we do... We've known I'm not each saying other. Jalil. There's nothing wrong if your name is Jalil. <laughs> you know, my Jalil. name. My name is Jason. I Jalil's love Jay. Jalil's not going to be Republican. Jay stands for Jesus. It's fine. Okay, go but, ahead. You know, we just don't really talk about politics. We more or less talk about. You know, we have friendship. We talk about things outside of that. Um, and yeah, I, I think you can be. You know, it's. You know, politics, you know, you look at both parties, you take the lesser of the two evils. And. You know, as long as you're not, in my, as long as you're not a racist mm-hmm. person, mm-hmm. I'm fine with you. If that, yeah. You know, if you believe, you know, and I, I think I have some, you know, uh, fi- financially, I think I'm Republican. I think socially, I'm more Democratic. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I, you know, there's different, you know, and I think most people are. You know, mm-hmm. everyone thinks people should. Every, I'm sure everyone mm-hmm. thinks everyone should work. Yeah. Everyone should not live off the yep. government. So yeah. Yep. Just depends on the nuances. So yeah. Black sure Republicans. Be that's so, going to be interesting to talk about that. We're going to talk about Black Republicans. Black Republicans. Yo, yeah, we got to find some more of them. But we got Black Republicans. Republicans. But I'm also interested. I, I don't really can't put color in terms of this politics as much anymore. Well, I'm really interested bl- in black what Trump, Americans are black thinking. Black Trump, Trumpers. 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 Who are some That's black more, Trumpers? Yeah, black Republicans, who cares about that? I mean, I want to hear some white Trumpers, too. Okay. You know what I mean? We and I would him. love to get Clarence Thomas on the show, because Clarence I know it Thomas. sounds crazy, but there are some elements of his doctrine that I believe in. Really? Really. But we ain't going to talk about that we now. can bring you on the show. Mark Zuckerberg, Clarence. bring back my Facebook But your account. wife can't come on the show. Um, I don't like her. Honestly. I don't know her, but I don't know her either, you're more than welcome. You and her both, because I, I want to figure. Yeah, actually, I'm not going to say Anita and you would have looked better together, but it's okay. Oh, 
Mark Zuckerberg, please bring me back, give back my Facebook account. I really miss it. My birthday's coming up, things like that. And you Great can change picture. your Twitter now to X. Yes. Things are changing so, fast in this world, but we, we are not. changing 811 crew. We We're out. are out. Bro. Come on. Let's go pick your feet up though. Let's go pick your feet up though.